Shopify is one of the most popular and user-friendly platforms for growing and managing online businesses. And while many of your favorite brands use Shopify to market and sell physical items, it's also a great tool for selling products and services that live completely online. Now today, I'm walking you through every step from start to finish of how to sell your online digital products through Shopify, whether you're offering eBooks, Lightroom presets, graphic templates, or even a digital course, Shopify Suite provides you with tons of tools to list, deliver, and manage your digital products all in one place. We'll start with creating your Shopify account, setting up your first product, and customizing the fulfillment settings to automate delivery. Then along the way, I'm going to show you how to test everything before launch and pass along a few key marketing tips that'll help you stand out in a pool of millions of other stores. So make sure to stay tuned to the end to get all the info you'll need to convert your digital assets into profit. Now, if you want to follow along with this video, but haven't signed up for Shopify yet, you can start by checking out the affiliate link in the description below. Not only will it get you a three day free trial with Shopify, but you're also going to get your first three months of service at just $1 each. So go ahead, follow the link and sign up. Now, once you're done, you'll land right on the Shopify dashboard, ready to get started. Plus, if you'd like an in-depth tutorial on how to create your online store from scratch using Shopify, I've also linked a full step-by-step -step guide in the description below, so be sure to check that out if you need any additional help. All right, so once you enter your email after clicking the link, you're gonna be prompted to choose one of Shopify's plans. Now, I'd recommend starting out with the basic plan since it's more than enough for selling digital products and covers everything you're going to need. Now, don't worry. You won't need to add any payment info or account details right away. That only comes into play after the free trial ends. Then once you've picked your plan, you'll land on the dashboard and that's where you're going to start listing your first product. Just head over to the products tab and click add product. First up, you're going to give your item a clear and search friendly name. Let's say you're selling Lightroom presets for beginners. Something like beginner Lightroom presets bundle would be a good start. It's specific and includes keywords that people are likely to search for. Now, next, we're going to move on to the product description here. Try to focus more on the benefits than the technical stuff. Instead of just listing features, explain what the product actually does for the buyer. For example, Upgrade your photos in seconds with five professionally designed presets, perfect for travel, portraits, and everyday edits. That kind of wording connects more effectively with your audience. Now, once that's out of the way, you're also going to want to upload a strong visual. This could be your ebook cover, a before and after photo of your presets, or a clean screenshot, basically anything that gives buyers a quick and clear idea of what they're actually getting. Now scroll down to the shipping section and make sure to uncheck this is a physical product. That part's very important. If you leave it checked, Shopify will prompt for shipping info at checkout, which can confuse people since it's a digital product. Also under the inventory section, turn off track quantity as well, since digital items don't run out. There's no need to keep track of stock. Then once you filled in everything, hit save. You'll now see a new option under the more actions dropdown called add digital file. Click on that and you're going to be able to upload your file. Now they accept the most file types, including PDFs, zips, MP3s, videos, and more, as long as it's under five gigabytes per product. Then that's it. You've officially added your first product to your store. From here, you can follow the exact same steps to upload more products. Whenever you're ready, just rinse and repeat. All right, now, once your product is ready, the next step is to set up Shopify's free digital downloads app. This app is what lets customers actually download the files you're selling, and it connects directly to your product listings. To get it, head over to the left-hand menu and click on Apps. Then go to Shopify App Store and search for Digital Downloads. You'll want the one made by Shopify, and it should show up right at the top. Click Add App, and then hit Install App when it does ask. The setup only takes a few seconds, and once it's done, you'll see it listed under your app's menu. From there, you can start linking your digital files to your products. You're gonna be able to choose whether files are delivered automatically, or manually set download limits and even tweak the email that goes out with the download link. By default, Shopify allows unlimited downloads, which is actually pretty convenient. If a customer loses the email or switches devices, they can easily download it again without having to reach out to you. And remember, the smoother the experience, the fewer support emails you'll get later on, so it's worth taking a minute to get this right. Next, inside the Digital Downloads app, each product has a fulfillment setting. I usually go with automatically sent files. That way, as soon as someone buys the product, Shopify handles the delivery and marks the order as fulfilled, so no extra steps for you. 
Now, if you're selling something more premium and want to review purchases first, you can switch to manual fulfillment. That just means you'll approve each order before the file gets sent out. You can also limit how many times a file can be downloaded. I usually leave it set to unlimited, but if you're worried about people sharing a link, then you can set a limit like three downloads per order. And one little touch I recommend is customizing the email that customers receive with their download. If you click edit template, you can personalize it with their name, a thank you note, or even some quick instructions. It only takes a minute, but that kind of detail helps your store feel more professional and trustworthy. All right, now before you launch and start promoting anything, I highly recommend running a quick test order to make sure everything's working the way it should. You can either set your product price to one cent or just use a 100% off discount code to go through the checkout process yourself. This lets you check out that the confirmation email goes out, the download link works properly, and that the order gets marked as fulfilled. It only takes a few minutes, but it can save you from a lot of unnecessary support messages later on down the line. Then once you've tested everything and confirmed it's all running smooth, it's time to actually start marketing your product and getting it in front of people. First off, think like your customer. What would you search for if you were looking for your product? I've mentioned this before, but I can't stress enough how important this is. Be very specific with your product titles and description. So instead of vague names like Floral Pack 3, Go with something clear like printable floral wall art bundle or minimalist botanical print set. Include search-friendly keywords, makes it easier for people to actually find you and your products. Another tip, add some high-quality mock-ups or lifestyle photos to your product pages. It helps people visualize how they're gonna use your product, whether it's on their wall, in Lightroom, or as part of their workflow. Visuals make a big difference in convincing someone to hit that buy button. Also, consider creating different versions of the same product tailored for different audience. For example, if you're selling planner templates, you might offer one for students, one for professionals, and one for content creators. This is a great way to diversify and appeal to more people without starting from scratch every time. And don't forget about product bundles. They are a super effective way to boost your average order value. If you're selling eBooks for seven bucks each, for example, try bundling five together for 25 bucks. People love feeling like they're getting a deal and bundles give them more value while increasing your revenue. So make sure to keep these tips in mind. They might seem simple, but they're gonna go a long way in helping your store stand out and converting more visitors into buyers. Now that just about wraps up everything you need to start selling digital products on Shopify. So if you're sitting on something you've created, a guide, a music pack, a digital planner, there's no reason to wait. With just a few clicks, you can get your product out there and start making sales today. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more just like this. And don't forget to take advantage of Shopify's free trial using the link in the description below. Like I mentioned earlier, it'll get you three days of service at no cost, any rate of just $1 a month for your first three months. So go ahead, check it out and see what you can create for your business. Now, as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts. So please leave your questions or comments down below and I'll try and get back to them as fast as I can. Finally, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.